And it's an example of if we can have congressmen calling out Holder and saying, you're a criminal, you should really be in jail, and saying, and Holder snaps back, you better watch it, buddy. You don't want to go there. Getting, getting him down to his basic thug level. This is the guy that ran, bare minimum, the Oklahoma City cover-up. He was in control of the operation. We know the names of the FBI counterterrorism leaders who checked in the day before at the hotels, didn't even try to cover their tracks. Lied and said their team was in Dallas. They got caught. They were there. We know, and we have the witnesses that saw them doing the telephone work with the gray sticks of butter. And then Holder quarterback to cover up. I mean, we have those emails from federal lawsuits. I mean, this is a very serious person. And I'm not trying to do his scaring for him. I'm saying, let's recognize the criminals we're dealing with here. And let's call them out for the criminals they are. And, and they kill Alex Jones or set me up. That's the way it is. That's what it takes to get humanity to the next level. I'm not even worried about that. I'll be honest with you. But they can't kill this congressman. They can't kill, they can't kill an idea. Ideas are bulletproof to quote V. And pretty soon when everybody just starts spouting off, it's all we already hit critical mass. You don't matter how many of us you kill, you're just going to turn us into heroes like 300, which is a true story. What you think killing me is going to save you? No, the reason you haven't killed me yet is because you know that and you know at a spiritual level. I'm willing to go all the way because that's the only choice, of course. And it's the same thing. For these congressmen and others, you can see the look in this guy's eye of being a man, of just looking at a criminal who's committed all these crimes, covered up Benghazi, covered up Solyndra, covered up banking highs, covered up MF Global, covered up every crime you can imagine. And, you know, these politicians up there, they're sick of getting the blame for everything and having a 6% approval rating. They've got their constituents losing everything. They don't want to be part of the evil. They want to be good. They want justice. I'm telling you, Louis Gomer, I know him, a good guy. I know folks that know this other congressman, Blake Farenhold. They say he's a real guy, a real man, a family man. And at a certain point, you can't get us all. You understand that, scum? And then we're going to wake up the sheeple, that there's a real world going on out there. We're going to Paul Watson in a moment with huge breaking news on this new superbug that, 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 that makes Stuxnet look like a cakewalk. And I believe is a cybersecurity false flag that I've been saying they're going to launch. But first off, here is Holder blowing up at Gomert over threat of contempt. Here it is. I promise to do is to provide you and your staff with... Uh... Sir, I've read you what your department promised, and it is inadequate. And I realize that contempt is not a big deal to our attorney general, but it is important that we have proper oversight. You don't want to go there, buddy. So, you don't want to go there, okay? Look at that thought. I don't want to go there? No. About the contempt? You should not assume that uh, that is not a big deal to me. I think that it was inappropriate. I think it was unjust. But never think that that was not a big deal to me. Don't well, he's evil. Well, uh, I'm oh, just looking do for evidence. Oh, my God. And oh my God, normally so we're known by our fruits. And there have been no indications that it was a big deal because your department has still not been forthcoming in producing the documents that were the subject of the contempt.